Hey guys, so welcome to my Christmas Without the Cricut series. I decided to do this when um, I was searching through YouTube and I noticed that a lot of people were asking people with a Cricut to do stuff without a Cricut. So I thought, I'm going to do Christmas in July and it's going to be no Cricut. Now I promise you I will use a Cricut this Christmas because I just love my Cricut so I'm going to use it. Um, but I thought this would be fun. I'm going to do 12 cards. This is number one in the series. I'm not going to use the Cricut. I'm not going to use anything except things you can purchase at the store and use yourself. You don't have to have anything um, fancy. I'm not even going to use my ATG gun. This is going to be difficult, but I'm not going to use it. So this is an Elmer's um, tape runner that I get at Michael's. And that's all I'm going to need for that. I will need some glue dots for this card. We won't use them for every card, but we will for this card. And what you're going to need... This piece of cardstock is six inches by three inches. This is going to be a three by three card I'm making today. Not the rest of them won't be. I just want to make something small today. So that's a three by, I mean, a six by three. And then we'll score it in the middle or not. I'm not even going to score it. I'm just going to show you how to do it without anything. And then this is a three by three piece of glitter paper that'll go here on the card. You're going to need a couple of buttons. I had these little buttons that are just real glittery and real pretty. I don't know if you can see the sparkle real well. You'll see it in the pictures little buttons and then I freehanded and I know you can do this I'm gonna sit it on the pink I freehanded a top hat all you do cut a square of paper you're gonna put a little cut about a quarter of an inch in a little cut about a quarter of an inch in and then bring your scissors to meet them there and you have a top hat the only thing you want to make sure of is that it's proportionate to the head of the button you're using so you'll see that in a few minutes and then a couple more things some baker's twine and I wanted to mix this color with the pink I thought it was cute and yes it's gonna be Christmassy it may be wintry instead of Christmas more like winter but that's the way it's going to go so let's get started so first things first we're going to take this um our card base and fold it in half and like I said I'm not going to use any special tools because I want you to be able to do these at home this little card would go together quick and easy if you wanted to do like you know mass produce cards so on the back of this three by three piece I'm going to run some tape runner down it and this is really inexpensive, but the cool thing about these is they are refillable. So, um, you know what, with this being glitter paper and kind of heavy, I'm gonna put another piece down the middle. I would have done that with my ATG too on this card. I should say ATG also. Okay, so now we have our three, three by three card and then our glitter paper. Now for fun, we are going to put our snowman, this is gonna be our snowman. I'm gonna give you a little tip when using buttons to make a snowman. Run instead of running the buttons up and down the little holes in the button up and down turn these sideways and they give the illusion of eyes and I just think that's really cute if you do that so you turn the top one sideways and then run these up and down and that gives the illusion of little buttons for his um, body so for this we're going to need glue dots and I have mini glue dots on this big one I'm probably going to use multiple ones because I don't have any big ones and on these glue dots, you can take them off of there and apply them to what you're using them just by rolling the edge up. Again, I got these glue dots at Michael's. You can get them at any craft store. I know, um, I think even Walmart has these. Target might have them. They have a pretty good um, selection too. So, all right, so we're going to run these buttons up, up and down and kind of in the middle of the card and then press down. And then on the smaller one, y'all know I hate loose glitter, right? And these buttons, the glitter comes off of it. Um, on these smaller ones, the smaller one, I'm just going to use maybe two glue dots on that one. Just like that. Now I'm going to put a little separation between the body and the head because I'm going to put a, some twine to kind of look like a scarf. So we're going to leave a little bit of separation on that. Isn't he cute already? I think he's really cute. Okay, so I'm gonna move him aside when we work on the hat, which I thought I lost, but there it is, and you can't see it. So what I'm gonna do is put something white behind it so you can see the little hat. There we go. Now I've cut a piece of um, Baker's twine, and you can use this in I don't, any color you want. I just used this color. I just wanted this color on here. So I'm gonna flip this little hat over. I said I am. Now I am. I'm gonna run some adhesive on the back. A pretty good bit covering it pretty good it's not actually going to hold it down but so then I'm going to place the piece of twine onto that adhesive so it'll hold it and I'm going to wrap this adhesive I mean the paste I'm gonna wrap the twine a couple of times 
once or twice, and then I'm going to look at it. I'm going to do it one more time. Wrap it around just to make a good thick band. And then I'm just going to stick that down to that adhesive that we already put on there. Then I'm going to cut this off, cut the excess off. So when we turn it around, this is what we have, a cute little brim on our top hat. One thing I didn't mention, and I should have, because you will want to have some of these, are some dimensionals, um, like pop dots or something like that. And I have some, I'm just not locating them. Here they are. So for this top hat, I do want to use a pop dot, and I should have said that. I'm going to use a couple of them on the back, actually. Because the button has dimension, I'm going to have to make this hat stick up off of the paper a little bit so that um, it has room to kind of overlap the button. So, and it's still got adhesive on the back, which is going to work out well when we, um, we can use that kind of for the, where it sticks to the button. So peel the backs off your pop dots, or those that I use are sticky dudes. I get those at Hobby Lobby. Okay, place your top hat where you want it. I can want it kind of cocked to the side. My little snowman's a little too cool for school, so there's his little top hat to the side. And now, I took some Baker's twine, and I just tied it into a bow. I'm sure you guys know how to do that. You just make the bunny, the bunny ears and then wrap them together and pull. And you just want to pull and tug and get this where you want it. And then what we'll do is take another glue dot like so okay and then decide where we want him I want to put our little bow and I think I want it over to the other side a little bit I'm just gonna take the tip of my scissors and kind of press that little knot in so it'll stay and now we trim our scarf pieces away to where we want them oops and I untied it because my scissors are getting dull I can go back and fix that hate that my scissors are getting dull. I'm going to have to get some new ones. Okay, let's pull this back a little bit. And there you go. Now, I want to tell you too, in this series, I'm going to use a lot of black card bases. I think black really dresses up cards and it really makes them, you know, just pop. See all the glitter on that card? He's so cute. So, I'm going to tell you this. A lot of people get scared of the black card base because it leaves you the black inside. You can do several things. One, you can cut a piece of white paper and put it here and then write your sentiment. Or if you have them or have seen these, these are pens that I just picked. I got these at Hobby Lobby and they are made by, um, let me see if I see the name. Oh, here we go. They're made by Pentel and they are metallic medium gel pens. I have a silver one and I have a gold one. You can use these to write on black. You can also use your um, glitter pen or if you have the, um, and I don't have it right here at me, but if you have a white gel pen, you, oh, there it is. You can use a white gel pen on here as well. So you don't have to put a piece of white paper in, but you can. So you can decorate the inside too. All right, guys, that's card number one in um, Christmas in July without the Cricut. And all you need for this is a paper trimmer, some glue, some adhesive, some baker's twine, and you just put it all together. I hope you like that one and join me again for my next one. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.